So I'm going to show you the basics of basics of database, which is selecting or pulling data from a database. Um, this is Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. One thing I didn't explain in class is that basically we have two major pieces of software going on when we uh, do database work in SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server that is. One, we have the database server, which runs as an independent piece of software in the background on our box, and then um, we have the second piece of software, which you're viewing here on your screen, which is Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And basically it's a tool for us as developers to connect to that other process running in the background, whether it's on our box or on a different machine, and be able to interact with our database, uh, insert database, and in, sorry, insert data, update data, view data, that kind of stuff. Anyway, so that's what this tool is. So in class, we basically had to set up both of those pieces of software. In fact, if I bring up uh, uh, here, we see SQL Server Configuration Manager. We opened this in class. Let me uh, get past that. And let me just reduce this. You see here, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here we can configure. But the main one that we're concerned with in this class is SQL Server, this act, the process running in the background that really has no UI. Um, the way we get any UI to interact with it is through uh, SQL Server Management Studio. And basically we can start and stop this. I'm using SQL Express. Uh, it's just lightweight. Uh, it's also free. You could use our academic licensing to pull down the full version of SQL Server. But it's pretty, the, the download and the install is pretty bulky, pretty heavy. Okay, so enough of that. Once we have this open, um, and we've connected to our database, when it opens up, uh, when you first open up Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, it asks you to connect. In fact, I wonder if I just come here and say connect. You'll get a dialog similar to this. And uh, the way to connect to your local machine is paren, local paren. And then since I'm using SQL Express, I have to put the slash SQL Express in all caps afterwards. I'm not sure why Microsoft chose that. Maybe to make it obvious that we're using SQL Express instead of the full paid version. I'm not sure. Anyway, hit connect, and then and then uh, you can write your queries here. Another way to get uh, the new query window open, you can hit new query. Uh, you can also hit control N. I think you can say file, new query. And, uh, lots of ways to get this. This this blank text window that we can write SQL queries in. So let's just let's just uh, do a few. Notice I have Northwind pubs, SQL to DB. Uh, a lot of people watching the video will say, oh, Northwind's old school. And yes, it is old school. AdventureWorks is new school. But uh, AdventureWorks is big, bulky, and as a beginner, you can kind of get lost in it. We'll move on to AdventureWorks later, but for now, just getting started, let's stick with Northwind. So to see what tables are in Northwind, we hit the plus sign here. You probably have a plus sign right here. Mine was already expanded. Um, but these are basically all the tables in my Northwind database. And if you download and, and attach the Northwind database to your own box, you'll have similar as well. So let's click over here and say select. I want to view all the products. I want to view all the columns in the products table. So select flat from products. Is it products? Do we have products? Yeah, we do have products. Okay, hit a five. You'll notice I have a red line squiggly, and then I get an error saying invalid object name products. Well, the reason it's invalid is because this drop down is set to query the master database. But my query here is written for the Northwind database. So there's two ways I can remedy this. One, I can just come here and select Northwind and hit a five. And notice we, res we get all the products out of the products table. Um, I can also say use here, which is a better way of doing it when you explicitly say use because as you move your scripts around and save them and all that kind of stuff, you can explicitly say do these actions on this particular database. And so if I was creating tables or doing something that I didn't want to happen to another database, um, but I didn't have this use statement at the top, then chances are I would do something very bad to another database. So either way, I can say use up here at the top, that's better. Or I can just select Northwind from the drop down. Notice if I say, let's say use uh, master, and then I hit a five. Notice the drop down changed to master, and we have this invalid object name products again. So anyway, Northwind, hit a five, boom. So here we see, let me scoot this over, all the products. And essentially, uh, the select statement, 
So select selects the most common. In fact, it's the only way to query data out of your database. And what follows select is the splat, and the splat means all columns in in the result set. So here I'm saying select splat from products. Products is the table I'm pulling. Pull, I want to pull my data from. So notice I I basically get all the columns, and I get all the row, rows. So we can have a little fun with the select here. I can say, uh, you know what, I don't want to see all of them. Let's just see. I want to see product name. And uh, let's see product ID. And a five, run it. And now we've essentially cut two columns vertically from the result set. So anyway, that's, that's select in a nutshell. That's, that's the basics of all basics when it comes to select.